look what has arrived. Just dumped out everything from our whole fridge. So I figured this could be a great YouTube video. Clean, organize the fridge, clean with me. New review of our Samsung fridge. Look at this. Ay, ay, ay. So in true Manders fashion, of course, it's f***ed up. Oh, this little lip here on the cabinet, I forgot to take that into account when I was measuring for said fridge. And the standard size, the standard height of a fridge is 68, and that's what I thought this bad boy was, but it's 68.5. So we're actually going to have to shave this lip down so that we can shove it under um, and potentially delay putting everything into the fridge. And get this, it arrived with a dent in it and no protective gear. So fridges, uh, the shelves are broken and it's dented, so I actually have to get a new one anyway. So. <laughs> It's okay. Things could be worse, right? So anyways, I'm still gonna meal prep today. This ain't stopping me. I'm still gonna get my meal prep in, but I can't put anything really in there yet until it cools down, obviously, for safety reasons. So I'm just gonna try to keep everything together that's cold, and then we'll try to organize it when it gets down to its proper temperature in like two hours. So stay tuned. All right, so it has been a couple hours. Um, our contractor who did most of the work on this house came by and social distance of course don't worry we had masks and we disinfected everything um and he had to basically saw the top lip off of the counter in order to get it to fit but here's the thing with these fridges we only have a limited amount of room to work with for the width and if i want a water dispenser and ice maker i can't really compromise on the depth so the difference in between those fridges, if they're shorter in depth, they're taller, which obviously can't work. We have to get a new replacement of this one next week because the plastic was broken on the inside. So that's one other thing, but I still wanted to be able to put my food in here and I just literally threw it in because I wanted to show you guys how I'm going to organize this fridge and where I'm going to put what and all that jazz. I have a ton more room in this fridge. The other really cool part about this fridge is this middle drawer, which is a flex zone control. So if you wanted to store like drinks in here, you could, you could put wine and there's different um, temperatures on it so that if you wanted to freeze something and use it as an extra freezer, you can. And then of course the bottom deep freezer has those two separated drawers and a top drawer as well, uh, which is super helpful. And I just kind of tossed it all in here so I could show you how I'm going to rearrange the fridge. But this is the before. I already decided that in this drawer here, I think I'm going to utilize this for any deli meats and cheeses since I like to have a variety. This area I feel like would be best for butters. I don't know really about here. I haven't fully decided on that yet. I'm going to put the spinach, anything that's like leafy that needs uh, humidity control is gonna stay in there. And in this side, I think I'm gonna put any bread, same thing, because if you put your breads in the refrigerator, they will last longer. Now I have it set on deli snacks, but if you wanted to, you could freeze it. No flex, zoom. So I'm gonna put my belt bars over there. condiments. I use these little plastic um, containers from the container store and since now we have cheese we can move that. Um, and I just like to put any type of condiments like mayo, little sauces and things like that. We can also throw this salsa in here. My meal prep stuff we can put that all over right here. This will kind of be like the coffee station right here and then we're gonna have another one um, but like I said it's broken because just it'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's a drawer. What is? This right here. I thought it was broken. What's a drawer? Right here. Oh, that's cool. That's super cool. If you wanted to, instead of so these don't get stuck. One layer down and then oh I put our little candies up here that we use for shakes and stuff so 
that's our shake mix in drawer. The bottom part is super easy because I actually got rid of a ton of stuff. So what I decided to do, is you can pull this all the way out or put this guy in here. What I'm gonna do is put our breads up here, but we're gonna leave that kind of just how it is because unless we wanna put like ice creams and stuff, but there is also this drawer here, which we could fit quite a few ice creams Woo! in there. Then basically what I'm gonna do for this bottom part is just put any extra, oh, and I froze cheese too. Oh, I froze two cheeses. Manders. Gosh. I'm gonna put um, any other types of meats and extra trifecta meals that I have. Oh no, I lost a, I lost a waffle. So that's pretty much all I'm doing for here. And then once Austin fills up this little thing with ice cream, which I'm sure he will, everything is just extra meat. Then I have frozen naan bread and chicken and apple sausages as well. Hi, Tuxie. Hi. So oh, handsome, wow. Look at that snoot, it's magnificent. Okay. So, Sick. that is our fridge, which took up an entire day to set up. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed this little clean with me slash organize my fridge video. Once I actually get it filled up and it's not broken and we have all the shelves, I will do an updated version, but um, for now, this is kind of the half half budded version. I have to get something up this week. So, if you enjoyed this clean with me video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe so you don't miss a Monday with Manders. I'll see you in my next video.